Hey guys, I'm LB. Last episode, we finally figured out how to unlock the stupid lasers, and then we also unlocked the the uh, the cubes. So uh, yeah, now we are going to be working with cubes and lasers, which should be interesting. No fans yet though. And again, this is a blind playthrough. I've only seen basic plays. Um, uh, I've seen somebody play the demo of the game, but that's all I've seen. The more I converse with these terminals, the more I wonder what role they play in this contraption. How do you tell friend from foe when no obvious lines are drawn between the two? I was in school when I first read about the Talos Principle. I think it disturbed me at the time, made me hyper-aware of... My body, as a physical object, the material reality of the brain, ideas that made me uncomfortable at first, but I think in the long run, help me understand how frail human beings are, and how precious. It's not a comforting way of thinking about the world, but I'd rather face the truth than lie to myself. I'll need to actually look up what the Talos Principle is, because I did not do that before playing this game. Okay, well, uh, let's get started. Let's head over here. Things to do with two boxes. Oh, that's interesting. Ha! <laughs> that's neat. Man, this takes up a lot of the screen. <laughs> oh my goodness! Let me read these QR codes. Wrong. But the convex hole... Wait, wait. Let me read from left to right. What's a hexahedron? A powerful device fashioned by the designer. A cube. The edges are beveled. That makes it a decahedron. You forget the indents. With the indents, it's like a super polyhedron. But the convex hull is a decahedron. Top it closed. Wrong. <laughs> They're just boxes. Jeez. Relax. Wait, what happens... Oh, would you even let me... What happens if I do that? Ha! <laughs> It pushes it to one side. That's clever. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Wait, how did I... Oh, the E key works as well. Okay, interesting. I think I know what has to happen here. I need the box, okay. I do not understand why the designer chose to put such flaws into the world that it appears almost as if it were damaged, but I must believe that there is a purpose here I cannot see. If the designer is perfect, and he designed me for a purpose, I must be fit for that purpose. It follows that my purpose must not be to seek and hoard every sigil in his land, for so many are beyond the facilities he granted me. Interesting, isn't that... Is that 
part of another puzzle or Interesting. Crossfire? That's an interesting thing. Oh my goodness. Where was that... that star? Okay, there we go. That wasn't too hard. What does this do? Does this disable that thing? Oh! Oh, okay. Well, that makes things a lot easier. But where was... Star... Huh? That's the ladder, right? So the star is over there. Interesting. Okay, good. I'll have to leave this mystery for another day. One little buzzer. What is that thing? Does he just get in way of the laser, I guess? Yeah, because I can go around him. Doesn't seem to be attacking me at all. Okay, well, I know what to do about this. Yep, 
That works. Yep. Oh, there's a ladder here, I guess, in case you somehow manage to get trapped. Interesting. Oh, I know how you could get trapped. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's how you get trapped. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that there. You know you mustn't cross the streams. Yes, I do know I mustn't cross the streams. Oh, here they are. Let's see. This will work. Yep. It's already going over the fence. Does that mean I win? Ha. Huh. I'm assuming there's not another one, right? Oh, I just need to go over this fence instead. Wait a minute. What happens... ...if I put this on the cube? Ah, oh, it just falls. Okay. I thought I could carry them both at once. Kind of disappointing that a lot of games don't let you carry multiple objects at once. Bit of an odd decision. Let's see, is that everything for this area? Wait, why is that beeping again? Didn't I already use this? You have received a reply to your user support ticket. Display reply? Yeah. Retain your personal data, please contact the network administrator and ask to be issued a new password. Otherwise, please delete your existing profile and create a new one. Have you completed the standard troubleshooting procedures? Delete existing user account? Uh, create a new admin account, email the network user... We email the network administrator. Hmm... Well... Probably not a good idea to delete a user account. And didn't we already try creating a new admin account? Pretty sure we already tried that. Let's try emailing the network administrator. Which is restricted to admin- Ha! Ha ha ha! Uh, we already tried this, right? Wait, I didn't get a chance to try deleting. Ah. 
That's not what I wanted to do. That's strange. Why? How was I supposed to know I was supposed to try the delete option? I guess... I guess maybe it wouldn't have worked anyway because I'm not an administrator. So... No harm done, I guess. Probably wouldn't have worked anyway. Oh man, it makes steppy noises when I turn. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. Okay, um... I guess it's just on the 6th now, right? We have B unlocked, but I wanna keep doing stuff. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, lasers and cubes. Yeah, we can do this. Long ago, I shaped these lands according to the purpose of the hidden words. Thus, all things have meaning, where before was only chaos. Know that, and have faith. That's where the echoing light cut off. <laughs> Lol. Let's read that. Ever since we moved to the new site, I feel funny. No, not in that way. Just, I feel like I'm about to start laughing at random. It's probably shock, right? An inability to deal with reality? Or maybe it's just that we're working in this insane place with this insane technology on this insane project, and so I feel like a genuine mad scientist. Stand aside, mortals. We will create life by the power of science. I mentioned this to Alex, and she got me a pair of fake glasses. You can't be a mad scientist without glasses, she said. Even E.M. Malcolm had glasses. And I pointed at E.L. and said, Life, uh, finds a way. <laughs> Maybe you had to be there. Nope, that's funny enough to me. Inside jokes or not. Any email sent from this address are to be considered confidential, sharing or forwarding without permission may result in prosecution by the enraged spirit of Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. As soon as I upload this to YouTube, Jeff Goldblum is going to issue me a copyright strike. I can just steal it. Shall the industrious husbandman then plant trees the fruit of which shall never see? And shall not the great man, fond of laws, institutions, and a republic... Wait, what? And shall not the great man found laws institution in a republic? Sorry, I said- did I say fond of? I said- that clearly says found. I guess I'm starting to get tired or something. Anyway, my signature has been all over the place, so that's, that's probably one explanation. Anyway, what does the procreation of children imply, and our care to continue our names, and our adoptions, and our scrupulous exactness in drawing up walls, and the inscriptions on monuments and panegyrics, but that our thoughts run on futurity. Is that a run-on sentence? Come on. What do you imagine that so many and such great men of our republic who have sacrificed their lives for its good expected? Do you believe that they thought their names should not continue beyond their lives? None ever encountered death for their country, but under a firm persuasion of immortality. Themistocles might have, might have lived at his ease, so might Epinominus. And not to look abroad and among the ancients for instances, so might I myself. But somehow or other, there clings to our minds a certain presage of future ages. Presage of future ages? This sentence structure in this is all over the place, and it's- it's just not sentence structure that I'm used to. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. And this both exists most firmly and appears most clearly in men of the loftiest genius and greatest souls. Take away this, and who would be so mad as to spend his life amidst toils and dangers? Yeah, I'm not good with sentence structure that is not normal. Uh, let's look at chatbots. Chatbots are becoming increasingly sophisticated. True, but hardly relevant to this discussion. Are you sure? How do you know that I'm not a bot? Don't be ridiculous. 
I'm not ridiculous. Honestly, how would you know? <laughs> troll. I'm not a troll. Yeah, right. Is there anything I've written so far that could not be written by a bot? I responded to simple insults like ridiculous and troll with very basic negations. And I depicted that none of you use proper orthography, so I also avoided capitalization. What's the capital of France? Paris. Even the simplest script could pull that info from the net. What's the capital of Croatia? Zagreb. Okay, she's a bot law. I'm not a bot, I'm European. We learn these things in school. I've seen you in this chat room many times. Bots can't participate in discussions. At best, they can interject random comments. Sam is right, stop trolling. Uh, big eye warrior, Sam is a bot. <laughs> That's funny. They could all be bots, or they could none of them be bots, who knows. Anyway, that's it for this episode. So, thanks for watching, and as always, if you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!